Hello, Chini. Hello. Welcome to the Outside by Pulse. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Why do you think the custodians team's trees sent your pair home? And how did it make you feel? Um, I actually felt very disappointed, very sad, but it is what it is. And um, I feel like why they chose us to be evicted was because they felt like we were threats to them because we were winning back to back, back to back, back to back. And then we had this like clique with the body weight twins, a double K and everything. So I felt, yeah, probably they saw us as a threat and they, ha they sent us home. So that's it. You don't think it could be a sort of revenge? Mm, yeah, I know, because from last, the last um, custodian challenge and everything, because we didn't save them, so they felt like, okay, so it's payback time, so all of them joined, so it's okay. Some people say you may have complained a tad bit too much in the house. Is this so, or do you think they got you wrong? I actually feel like they got me wrong. I am not complaining too much. I'm just someone who likes to let things off my chest. Once something goes wrong, I want to like talk about it and then let's just get it sorted out and everybody will be fine. So I just get maybe they misunderstood me. They don't understand me, but that's okay too. It has always been your dream to be in Big Brother's house. Will you say you made the best use of the opportunity? Absolutely, yes. I did. I did my best. Every of my best, I gave it, and every of my best, I did. So, yes, I gave my best shot. What runs through your mind during the Saturday night parties? <laughs> like we we'll always say in the house, Italawa. So, we outside. So, nothing serious, just fun, fun vibes, and inshallah. So, nothing much. Why did you decide to come on the show with your niece? <sighs> Um, I decided to come with her because I didn't find any other person like or any other pair that would be quite interesting as us. Niece, auntie, we are kind of like a dynamic duo. Like it's not something you see on the regular everyday, everyday auntie duo, you know. So I just felt like, okay, this is going to be another type of, you know, idea. So that's why I chose her. Were you concerned that coming in with your niece and having the tag aunt may affect your game in the house or perception of the house mates towards you? No, I, I kind of like thought about changing the stereotype about people having this African, seeing their African aunties as they are wicked, I'm my auntie, my auntie, no, 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 I can't, my auntie, no, no. I just want them to know that, yes, behind every other auntie, there's also this auntie that is different, still popping, still young and, you know, still wants to live her best life and still wants to allow her niece to shine regardless, so. Yummy aunt, you mean? Mm-hmm, yummy aunt. Did being in the Big Brother house meet up to your expectations? Mm-hmm. Yes, it even exceeded my expectations, yes. If you had stayed longer on the show, what would you have done differently? Nothing. I'll just keep being myself. I'll just keep being myself. Some people say you held your niece back on the show. Do you think that's true? that's not true they really don't know her you know people kind of like they just they are they are just behind the screens and they just go ahead with their phones do whatever they feel like okay let's just that's not true i let her live her life to the fullest i don't even like i've never there's never been a time that i like i'll tell her don't do this or do this or order her around or boss her around or tell her what to do or tell her what not to do no in fact sometimes the reverse is even the case she's always auntie you auntie you know but people i guess they don't see that part so but that's okay too what are two things you loved about pairing with your niece and two things you did not like? Uh, the things I like, I think I like the fact that she's always there to, you know, calm me down when sometimes it gets really tiring and I get agitated and like, you know, sometimes my fellow housemates might want to go overboard. She'll be like, and you know what, don't mind them. They are, they are not what they say you are. You are good. You're beautiful. You're this, you're that. You know, but if there's any other thing, the, the, river, the like saying something I don't like. No, I don't think there's not anything I don't like. 
Who was your least favorite housemate in the house? Everybody is my, is my fave in the house. <laughs> I don't think I have any least favorite housemate. Everybody's my fave. All right, now let's have some fun. Okay. There are some questions in a basket in front of you, okay. and the goal is to answer as many as you can in 30 seconds. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. I can pick now, right? Yes, okay. please. Okay, so this one says, who designs the Nigerian flag? Um, this guy, Kunle Kola something something. I think I'll I'll pass. Uh, okay, this one says, um, which Nigerian musician is known as the African giant Bonner boy? This one says, um, how many days are in a leap year? 365, 366, 366, yeah. This one says, who is the author of the novel, Things Fall Apart? Time's up. Too much, I've been sorry. <laughs> all right, time's all right. up. That was good, it wasn't bad at all. Okay. All right, now let's go on to the fan zone. Your fans have one or two things to ask. Okay. okay. So we have Jennifer Kalisha11 on Instagram asking, why is she rigid? Am I? I don't. I don't think I am. Maybe they are seeing me from their own perspective, but I don't think I am, and that's okay. See, Eva on Instagram is asking, please, why does she? Why did she spoil our niece's game? I'm even surprised, like because I don't even know what part. Like I, I need more. Like what parts did I spoil? What part of the game did I spoil for her? So I don't know. Chunwei is asking. What is her full name? And I love her spirit. Oh, Chimwe, thank you so much. My full name is Chamaka Mwafo. All right. So if you could go back into the house, what would you do differently? Like I said earlier, nothing. I'll just keep being myself, keep being me. Which housemates will you miss the most? Ben. I miss Ben a lot. Why? Because he's a clown and he's so nice and, you know, everything. Ben is just everything sweet. If you had the opportunity to send a message to anyone in the house right now, who would it be and what would you say to the person? I think it would be Ben. And I would say just keep being a clown <laughs> and keep being funny and making the house lively. Who are you rooting for to win the show? Everybody, every, everybody, every one of them, everybody. They're all winners. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you very much.